Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Zoe and if you're new here, welcome and if not, also welcome. Um, I love you to have you here. So this in this video I want to talk about my reading plans for March. I, I fucking can't believe that it's already March. What the fuck? But my list is very long. I have an ambitious list but most of them are just like maybe books, maybe I go to them and then I read them, but not for 100% sure, like these kind of books. So the first two books are books that I have, um, that I'm still reading, like um, I read them currently, but I don't think that I will finish them like today. Um, this will be really ambitious if I can finish them. So I will take them over to March probably. The first book is the fifth book of the Outlander series, um, The Fiery Cross, I think, by Deanna Gabaldon. I think that's the title. I just always write, I read the fifth book of Outlander series because no one cares about how the title of the book is. And so far I have six hours left um, with the speed I'm currently listening to, which is speed three. <laughs> I'm just, they're just like, and I'm like, ah, oh, tell me, because there are some issues I have for this book. But um, this will be a huge spoiler, so I don't talk about this now. And this is my reading plan, it's not my wrap up. And and I don't think I will finish this today, um, because I can't listen six hours straight to an audiobook um, during the daytime. Night is a different... When it's night, I'm a different type of person. And then the second book that I will also take over to March is Untouchable by Tally Hubbard. This is the second book of the Raven's Hood trilogy or small town romance trilogy. I don't know how she's called it. But the first book is A Girl Like Her. I read it um, a few months ago. I loved it. It's cute. I bought the whole series. Never get to the rest of the series and um, I just wanted a quick read after Jade War and so I started this one on my Kindle and I like it so far, I'm 25% in. Maybe there's a high chance that I probably can finish this today. Today is the 28th of February, the last day of February. And But if I don't be able to finish this, you will. Um, I will read this in March and if I was able to finish this, you will see this in my wrap up. So that's a surprise. Maybe. Maybe I finish this. Okay, and then the next book now we get to all the book club picks and this is a lot okay patreon or book club picks like do, do i have my own physical tbr anymore or have, do i have my own tbr anymore like in the months no the book club picks take over my whole fucking tbr but the first book that i really need to read and i'm a little bit ashamed that i didn't start it yet didn't finish it yet um is <laughs> House of Sky and Bread. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm, I'm really ashamed, but I really want to get into this, mainly because um, also I need to finish this before the 12th of March. Um, and I'm really excited to get into this. And this is for the book club from Lucy. This was the February pick. So I'm excited to read this. What can I say? Shit. Oh, that was that was heavy. Um, yeah, so this is one book. Then the next book um, is also for Lucy's book club. Let's make this video less chaotic than my German version. But <laughs> March book club pick for Lucy's um, book club. I will, oh, I will link her channel down below. Um, is A Discovery of Witches by... I know only her first name, Deborah. I didn't take my homework, I didn't. And I'm 400% sure when I try now to Google it, the technique fails me. So I will not try it because the last three months I did this, it always failed me. But the only thing I also only know about Discovery of Witches is that it's about witches and vampires. This is the only thing I know and this is the only thing I need to know about a book that I buy it. I, I love fantasy. You probably know at this point, 
or if not, welcome. This is a fantasy reading channel. I just love fantasy. And I love I love face. Like who does not? A lot of people. But Faye is more in the focus now. No, only Faye's are really popular at the moment. Like we have um, the Fog of the Air series, like all the new YA industry publishes only like Faye related stuff or m mostly. We get new stuff too. But I will, I want to go back to my roots where I just read about witches and vampires. Because back then when I started reading witches and vampires were the shit. And I don't re really talk about Twilight, I talk about Vampire Academy, like House of House of Night series. Then uh, I let, read a lot of a lot of witches, witch books. And I just love it. I want to go back it. But all the witch books that I read currently were absolute trash. I'm really excited to get into this. And then uh, let's go to the Patreon reads. For Mel's Patreon Mel reads, um, the book club pick is, I'm so excited, the, the first book club pick is Elantris by Brandon Sanderson. And I already started this last year, but I didn't finish it. This, I we didn't finish, I mean, I read the first two pages and then stopped reading it um, because this was, I mean, this is also, Again, a high fantasy book. Um, I would, I was not used to it. And then after reading The Ray of Kings, I wanted to go back into it, but then I read a lot another stuff. And now, because this is a clip pick, I will get back into it. I will definitely read this this year if this was not a book club pick, but I'm happy that this is a book club pick in March. I have this on my Kindle and as an audiobook. And I really love the German narrator of the audiobooks, um, so I'm I will get to this book. Also on the throne of pages, Isabella's Patreon, and her book club pick um, is from Look of It Love. And I know I said in my last reading plans TBR video in February that I don't like sport romance books because Olivia Rizzalata's book club pick was when he picked The Wall of Winnipeg and Me by Mariana, Mariana Zapata and I said I don't want to read it because it's a spot romance but this time it's about figure skating and I love it from Look of It Love is about figure skating and I love figure skating I watch figure skating all the time when I get TikToks about it I watch it, I binge it and I didn't watch the the Olympics this year because of some issues with the country that it is currently in. But normally I always also watch this. So I really love figure skating. So I was like, okay, I'll read this book. And it's free on Kindle Unlimited. So this was also great. And the only issue that I have is this is the Mr. Lovers. But so far I'm enjoying it. Yeah, I think this was all the book clubs. It gets to the body reads because in Isabella's Throne of Pages Patreon um, there's always one simper we, there we call the simpers in a Patreon and there's always one simper of the month and this body read that the simper choose was The Woofen Kingdom by Tahira Murphy and I have the Olumicrate edition like how beautiful is this um, I was so shocked when I unpacked this book. Um, I don't don't really know what's about it because I don't really read the synopsis of the books. But what I know is after reading the um, author letter is that this is inspired by um, Persian and Iranians um, like myth, myth. Ah, I'm really bad at pronouncing this. But mythology around Persians and Iranians history and I'm really excited to read more about this because of course we get all the retellings and uh, myths about Greek and Norse and Roman um, mythology but I, I didn't read anything before about Persian mythology so I'm really excited to get into this and 
also the art that was on the artist letter it's just stunning and I'm so excited I'm when I'm honest I think when I didn't get it in the Illumicrate I wouldn't pick it up because this is I think a why a fantasy and at the moment why a fantasy and I um, we are not on good terms but I will give it a try and I hope I like it um, because of the first of all of the story of the book and how this book is looking like I mean This was body read, no read alongs. Yeah, I ask, where's the difference? For me, there's the difference. So, the first read along um, that I joined two months ago, Mel reads. There's a read along of the Green Bone saga. This is the worst sentence I ever did. But we, <laughs> we read in March, J Legacy. I'm so excited to read how the story wraps up in the end and what we get in J Legacy. Um, I maybe switched to the audiobook version of Jane Legacy because I read Jane Warmer Kindle and it was really hard but I listened to the audiobook version and I also love the narrator of Jade War and how it's the same in Jane Legacy so maybe I switched to the audiobook because it was really good and I'm so excited to, to read more about this world um, and yeah this is the only thing I say about this because it's the third book and then Honani and Kelsey are also linking down their channels down below. I'm also my YouTube and book friends. Um, they're doing together a Percy Jackson um, read along. And I'm so excited because first of all I have the um, bookcase here with all the five books of the main series. I, th I think there's a lot more in the Rick Ryden world. Like also in this Percy Jackson world. And I never read it. I watched the movies. I thought the movies were not that bad. But I also didn't read the books, so I can't decide if they were really bad. But I, I like it. And I'm also excited to now read this because um, soon there's a TV show um, about Percy Jackson. I'm excited to read, um, see this. I will definitely watch it because I love Greek mythology. And the first um, book that we are reading is The Lightning Thief, I think it's called. The first one, but I'm not sure. I'm, yeah, lagging teeth. My original plan was to read the whole five books at once, not once, like back to back. But I'm, I think I will join the read along and be patient and reading them book by book. And yeah, the first one is lagging teeth. I will read this in March. So this was the last read along. Now we get to four books that I hope I can get into it just because I want to. Um, the first book is a book that I really want to read. And this is um, The Midnight Chronicles. This is a German fantasy series um, from, by Laura Kneidel. Um, I talked about this specific author a lot in the last couple of months. Um, but I'm really excited to get into the story. Um, I will not talk about this much because it's a German series. Um, these are character cards that were in the book. I just love them. They are always in her books. I, I just in the first editions of the books. So um, I'm excited to read this. If you're German and you can read it or you can read German, maybe watch my German video. I will talk about this more. Then and the last few books are books that I hope I can get to. Um, and the first one is Anxious People by Bram. Frederick Beckman and I don't know anything about this book. I got this uh, for Secret Santa this year, last year and oh, I hope it, I don't know anything about it. Like I said, I hope it's about anxious people and a good way of anxious, of anxiousness in people. Like there are good books out there that describe anxiety good. And there are trash books, and I hope this is a good book. And then I have here these witches don't burn, like I said, witches. Let's get big into it. And I really hope I like it because it's about um, witches and lesbians. So, like, gets it any more better? Um, it's about Hannah. It's her, and she has a hot ex and a new crush. 
and her best friend and they're trying to solve I think something that happens in that town. I'm not 100% sure like I said I don't read synopsis but um, this is all I need of a book to know that I get this and I want this in Lucy's um, giveaway like how oh, perfect and I'm so excited to read this and I hope it's better than the last witch book that I read. <laughs> um, then we have Oh, the last, last book that I have on this list is a book I don't know why I bought this, to be honest. Because it's a uh, enemies to lovers story. And yeah, I'm reading about enemies to lovers. But I bought I Think I Love You. I ordered this in October and it arrived end of January. I, I couldn't remember that I bought this. And it's about Emma and Sophia. Um, they're both like Emma is the hard romantic um, girl who likes who really loves me cute movies, um, gay rom coms and oh she writes a gay rom com, and they try to um, competition competition in a film festival, and Sophia is part of it and they both hate each other and they um, and they. I think they're falling in love with each other, but hate each other. I don't know. But I'm really excited to get. Now that I have it, I want to read it. Obviously, I have this now on my list. And I'm so excited to get into this. And this was the full list. It's a lot of books. I have two weeks of vacation in March. So I think this is a high chance that I can possibly read all of this. And yeah, I'm so excited to get into the story. If you like this video, give the video a thumb up and maybe follow my channel. Everything, every book is down in the description down below and also the channels that I mentioned are also down in the description and then I will see you in my next video. Bye!